What's up everyone, Hydra Kazoo this side. Welcome to a brand new F123 or should I say F123 video where we are going to show you how you can set up your Thrustmaster Red Legend Edition racing wheel. But before that, let's start with the intro. <laughs> Alright then, so let's begin with our video. So as you can see, this is my Thrustmaster Red Legend Edition racing wheel. This is one of the basic cheap 90 degree racing wheel with no force feedback, back no force feedback. this is a basic wheel but we are going to try this on f123 so as you can know like before we go to the details like uh how you can set up it let's just give you the overview what happened with the f122 so as you know like f122 was having the same problem with the racing wheel setup so i created a like i did some solution so that helped my racing wheel although i forgot to create a video for that one so i'm creating a dedicated video on the first day of the f123 so how can set up it as you can see this is my racing wheel and if i press it it's not working i mean the menu option if you if i click it on the menu option if i press the up button it's not showing like the f2 per portion over here the bottom of where the racing car is showing you can see the f2 be the last one bit that is not changing neither the f3 button over there or the f1 or the enter nothing is changing is because let me go with the keyboard first let me show you why the wheel is actually not detected so that is that same thing that happened with the f122 or should i say f122 after ea acquired from the f121 now how you can set it it is quite easy pretty easy you can do it uh in one way practically in one year first of all you need to download the driver of this world the trust motor resolution edition will driver you need to download how can you do that let me show you so first thing you need to go to your chrome browser or whatever browser you're using go to your trust Master website and i'm going to give you the link for the both of the driver that you need to do in order to get this will work with f123 or should i say f123 so first of all you can see this is the uh, if you go basically go to the trustless to the uh, this is going to show up then you go to the racing wheel click on that then you click on the ferrari racing wheel red legend edition because this is the driver for this particular wheel this is the driver for this particular wheel and you need one more driver obviously i don't know this is going to be that driver is going to be working for uh particular for this f123 game but we're going to try it on the same board as we are right you are right now so first of all uh you go to the red legend edition driver page and you click on the driver and you click on the download obviously i got the driver i need to close the game first let me close it and let me show you uh one by one in a minute yes so as you can see these are the both drivers this is uh, the first one that you can see this is the trust master red legend edition driver ffd and the second driver that you need you have to scroll down a bit and you need to find t150 pro force feedback i'm going to give the link of the both of them so before that uh let me tell you one more thing if you are new to the channel please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe because it helps this channel a lot because we need we would love to reach thousand subs uh and we are trying for that so it would be appreciated if you support us anyway let's begin and let me show you okay so you need to download the t150 driver why i'm saying that because my theory says this is a trust wheel and this is a trust family wheel so i thought maybe if i download a hybrid driver the driver that is supported by this game obviously f12023 or should i say f123 support the wheel that are recommended by the developer so i I'm downloading the T150 driver. Once you download that, you're going to see this is the T150 driver. As you can see, if I go to the control panel, I have the Trustmaster driver which is installed fully. So you see, if... over here this is the trust master trust of support feedback driver is showing over here but it is actually the red legend edition racing wheel driver that is installed the second thing you need to do by connecting this wheel you need to get the trust master 
T150 Pro driver to be installed. And the second thing I'm going to highly recommend you people that please connect up jack, the USB jack to the back of the motherboard, not in the front port of your cabinet. Because sometimes the problem occurs and you have to face the double problem. Anyway, we install the driver and it's going to take some time. And I think it's done pretty much. Yeah, it's done. It's almost going to be done in roughly 30 seconds, depend on your uh, computer basic. So I have to restart it. So I'm going to restart it and we'll be coming back in three seconds. All right, guys. So we are back. We are back after the restart. We are back and we have opened the strip and came to the lobby. So the first thing we can easily do, we need to don't need to go to the option and if you press if i press this one the download button you see oh sorry my bad my bad my bad my bad. it was actually clicked on OB. sorry now i've clicked on the phone one let me see yes if you click on the download button let's see the position let me take uh show you the, all the positions so you can see what the phone card was showing is actually f2 the top portion go to the player hub it was showing f3 if you go to the Below, it is F1, Enter, and Escape are showing up there. Now, if you click on the down button on the SMB, say it's going for the above, as you can see, is 11, and below you can see 1, 2, and 3. So, obviously, it is fixed. And if you go to the option, I don't know the what settings are done in this game, so I can't press randomly. I'm going to do uh, just a gameplay so that I can see. Uh, if it's actually working in the game like properly, I'm not going to do the full setup of the keys how I'm going to set up because this is a basic rule and you can practically do it for yourself. Okay, the first mistake is good. Okay, there's one more thing that I need to tell you that is quite important that you need to know. So, for your queen that is going to show up here, it's not going to be Red Legend Edition, it's going to show as Ferrari GT Experience Racing World. It's going to show as the name as Ferrari GT Racing World. Once I go there, you can see uh, all the key bindings are given. You can change it by yourself. And for the calibration, I only do the calibration work. That should be around uh, steering rate and steering rate. Oh my god. I think I have a hard time to fix it and check the F1 to do the settings. This should be around steering dead zone, right? This should be around 22 or something around, I think. 28 I set it in, so I don't know and let's do a gameplay so that we can uh, show you it's actually working or not and it's fake or not you can actually prove it to you guys because many people after the game I would say oh man you're doing a fake one I hate it you know I really hate it when people say that anyway yeah good F123 I actually am getting some good vibes with the F123 so we're going to try uh, the Kether because we are, have played the MotoGP game so we know uh, Day Out 2. That should be a good one and let's see how this will fills in F123 and you can experience it too. Okay, here we go. I... No, please don't go. And my eardrums are pretty much bursting. I'm using uh, just some casual boat headphones over here. Earphones, actually. Know what you can do. Don't let me down. No problem. Clutch in. Hold until lights out. Which is clutch? Okay. Build the revs up and hold them. Man, the sound is good. Man, I, I am actually enjoying it with this wheel. I mean, yeah, you can see I'm pretty much enjoying with this wheel. Oh, by the way, it's on full high graphics. And I don't play that much on the racing wheel, so you can say I have some terrible gameplay. Okay, 
No, it's actual feel good. I mean, they did something crazy with the game handling, and I liked it compared to F122 or any other F1 that I have played. I think now I'm going to play with the wheel. So every day we are going to do uh, one to two video with the F1. Uh, one is going to be your breaking point and the second one is going to be the career mode what are we going to start our career from uh, F2 okay, start, the sound is quite different sound is quite different but I like it I'm actually short shifting a couple of bits. I think I need to. I think that should be the end of the video. I think that should provide you the full knowledge of the racing only is going to work for you. And yeah, that's pretty much end of video. And if it helps you, by the way, if it helps you, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. As I said earlier, we want to reach 1000 subs with all of you guys, with all the racing fans over here. So please help us and support us. Thank you. Also, like and subscribe with notification bell. Cheers.